Okay, guys, episode 12 of Grandizer. So you gotta say this episode. That should get pretty darn good. So, starting off, of course, last time we ended up with pretty much Tyrone marrying Duke. And of course, um, pretty sad, you know. Well, sad for Rubina, but not for Duke. I mean, hey. Guys, doing a pretty good job. So, we pick up here at the beach. And I know what you're saying, Cyril. Are we at the beach? You guys will see soon. Pretty much, Tyrone's there. Crying her eyes out. Pretty sad, you know. Of what happened, what she had to do. To basically, get with Duke. Because that was the only way she was going to do it. You know. And you can see that she has to mark now. Yes. She is married to Duke now. Officially, like 100%. So, she's like, why am I crying? She should be happy, but no. <laughs> um, this episode gets pretty dark. Now, uh, I want to address something. You guys see how I have um, different, you know, I have Massinger, I have Grandizer, I have uh, Massingizer there on the screen. Uh, the reason is that I have tried different things things to actually be able to show you guys a clear image of the episode and everything sadly even with pictures just standard pictures like it the video has gotten blocked worldwide i i don't get it i've seen people that have posted full-on clips without any transformative contents and they don't get um, hit you know, they, the, the videos are still there, but for some reason, mine, um, even if I did something transformative, if I don't cover up part of the images of the actual video, it just gets hit and it's and the video gets blocked worldwide and nobody can see it. So that's why I do it. So if you guys don't like it, I understand, but I, I really don't know what else to do. Flip, change the colors, everything no audio that's just how it goes so anyways let's pick up here so you know she's remembering you know what they did of course <laughs> and you can see those eyes and she's like he says he's gonna stay with me forever well you actually deceived him or trap on him and she's just not happy anymore and Duke is really pissed off as you guys can see there he has the mark and he pretty much breaks down because he really wanted to be with Rubina not Tirona and well he fucked up there so anyways now they cut here and we're seeing the Vega ship Andy. Now the episode is Rubina, of course, and the ship is pretty much powering up using the sun to gather energy to shoot it to the ring. And with that is how they do the little combination laser. And basically they destroy the swamp. You guys can see it there. Yep. By the way, that will be on Kojo. And the vice cackler in chief so yeah cats are safe and the dogs are safe don't worry so basically it, the Japanese government is like oh what we're gonna do we have to can over randizer but we don't want to give it you know and there's fighting and they're like and what can we do to to actually counter this right so there's really no no way that they have anything else to counter it, you know. So pretty much... The Earthling sends a, send a message. Supposedly. You guys are gonna see who is the actual person sending the message. Now, as you guys can see here, they want, the te they want technology in exchange for Grandizer. You know, but... 
<laughs> I don't know if this was a translation error, but you can clearly see that this is Dr. Hell. This is Dr. Hell's logo. And they're, they're calling themselves the Hill Group. I'm pretty... I, I guess this was just a spelling error. It's supposed to be the Hell Group. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, Dr. Hell is like... Yo. Vegas. Like... I'll give you Grandizer, but you have to give me technology first. You know? And I'm pretty sure... The rest of the Vegas are like, oh yeah, well, these stupid technologies and stuff. You know, even if the changes are minimal, you know, they're 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 pretty much playing it a lot off like, hey, yeah, they want our tech. Wow, they want our tech. Like, what can they do with it? Wow, well, let me tell you something, Vegas. You guys don't know much, but. There's a certain race of underground beings called the Mycenaeans, and those motherfuckers might be just as strong or stronger than your Vega. Just saying. So finally, Messenger X is getting sued up, as you guys can see here, it has the double spacer attached to it. And you can see that they're in the process of putting it together, which is great. You know, and Sayaka is working on it. And as you guys can see here, double spacer goes down right on top of the marine, and then the drill spacer goes up. So this way it looks like it is mm, kind of funky, honestly. I don't get why they couldn't attach. Um, it's grander as well. I mean, it would make sense. But no, it's just this. So. Pretty much. Maria is asking Koji. Hey, how is, you know, Professor Yumi? He's like, oh, he's still unconscious. But he, he should be okay. And Sayaka is still, you know. Hoping that her dad is going to be okay. And Maria's like, yeah, I, I I saw the future and I saw him buying me a wonderful dress. Is that true? Is that not true? We don't know that. Uh, they never, you know, every time Maria sees the future, we don't see it. It's like, uh, take a with a grain of salt. You know. So Koji's confident and... There's a little cameo here. There's a small cameo here of a very famous character from Massinger C. You guys are gonna see it here. So, attacks are going on around the globe, and you can see Chen, Julia, Daniel. Basically, people asking for Grand Dyson to save him. And check it out! Boss! <laughs> <laughs> boss is finally in the series <laughs> after so long boss is finally here but just as a text kind of sucks uh, because he's got any uh, the thing is response in boss zero nobody cares darn poor boss poor boss i wonder if i wonder if he has boss Barot here cast his robot maybe maybe not so they're pretty much getting ready to leave go to space and they're wondering hey where's duke you know he's been acting weird so you know duke is still like oh, darn it that's why you don't get matching tattoos that's why you don't <laughs> And Koji's like, hey, bro, you know, if you want to talk about it, we can talk about anything that got you down. And as Koji is leaving, Duke is like, tell me. We all know the conversation that is going to go and Koji's probably like, I haven't gotten laid. This guy got laid. 
it's probably gonna get late again so in, in my opinion i'm pretty sure koji told him suck it up suck it up you got two for a price of one grandma you're good let's just get going so we finally find out what happened to Rina, and as you guys can see here, she's just in a pod, sleeping in there. And we finally see that when Tirana confronted her, pretty much Rubina knew what was gonna happen. And basically what Tirana is doing here, uh, from Rubina's point of view, is pretty much that she's gonna marry Duke instead of Rubina so the wrath of the Vega goes to her and now Rubina Rubina will be alive pretty much that's pretty much what the whole plan well the whole plan at some point because we all know Tirona is in love with Duke we all know that she, she wanted that she wanted that you know she wanted that but she really did So, pretty much, you know, it's just a pretty simple fight here, which is nothing interesting. You know, just Rubina saying that she won't back down, that she's gonna stand by her man, and, you know, Tirana's like, yeah, you're gonna go sleep now. And Rubina wakes up, and she's like, oh, sister, everything okay? And I want you to know something. Okay, all the times that we have seen Tirana, we have seen her chest, of course, and it has seen that is pretty much eh, almost the same size as uh, Rubina here. That's gonna change. So, Tirana's like, yeah, I saved you and all that, and Rubina's like, oh, what? What happened? That's impossible. I, I don't believe it, and Tirana doesn't want to show her, and she sees the mark. And she's like, oh, shit. Yep. Rina's like, what? No. <laughs> yeah, that happened. So. Rina actually slaps her. <laughs> Which is kind of it's kind of funny because if you remember when Tirona was gonna slap Rubina in one of the other episodes, Rubina got scared, and now Rubina slaps Tirona and is like nothing. And Tirona's like, you, 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 you. you know, cat fight. But no, they don't. They don't fight. She just slaps her once, and she's like, I'm sorry. You know, and she's like, oh, no, I know you're there to protect me, all that stuff. And that she knew Duke have feelings for Tirona. And Tirona's like, ah, that's not exactly how it went, sis. Um, you know, I kind of had to sneak the charade, you know what I mean? And Kalina just goes back to her room and just collapses against this... Gosh, I don't want to say the word. The D word. So basically, it, this whole thing of Tirona being in love with Duke and actually uh, setting traps for him has been going on since they were kids. Yeah. So, in a way, Duke was in love with both of them. He just didn't know it. So Rubina's just, you know, you know, just remembering the flashback, you know, she looks scared, she looks frightening, eh, I don't think anybody was saying that, honestly. And she's like, I'm all alone again. So, cut back to the island, and finally, the lab comes out, and we have Massinger X, with its Space Gasser combination, and Red and Dice are getting ready to launch, so, there you go. And the thing is, like, I, I know what you're gonna say, Zero. Why didn't just Messenger X get on top of the spacer and fly out? True. They could have done that. They could have done that. But 
Uh, I also was thinking of that, and then I thought about it, and I was, I was like, but he's gonna need a... He, he has to move in space, you know, he doesn't have his grander. Um, how is he gonna move in space, you know, without it? So, with the spacers, it, it can move in space. But, uh... I wanted to say the explanation would have cleared that off. No, it doesn't. Um, because, as you guys can see here, um... Uh, Messenger has uh, this little rainbow here of... of energy just flying around. And he starts kicking ass with full-on beams. And Tirona is fixing off her... Aqua Dicer, aka the Ice Dicer, and still remember Rubina, you know, all that has happened. And they're finally in the moon! And they're like, oh, there they attacked us, and all that stuff. And trust me, Blackie and the rest of the group do have some surprises for them. You know, the real there. So we got back to Tirona, looking for Rubina, and something happened to Rubina, and the Vega Star, which is actually the the ring, <laughs> the ring, yeah, engagement ring. So we're just like, let's engage, let's go, let's fight, and here is the full army, and I, this is where I said, hey, yeah, Massinger is gonna need that to move around and stuff and fight. Nope. Um, not even a couple seconds of getting where the enemies are, and he's already disengaging. Yeah. <clears throat> Why couldn't they... I don't know. Maybe gave it its grander so it could fly around now? You know... It, it just doesn't make sense, you know, why do that combination just to get all the atmosphere if you're not gonna use it here? I find, it, it, I, I honestly thought that we were gonna see more of Massinger X with that combination, but nope. It, it, it's just a couple seconds and that's it. So you can see that, you know, fighting with the spacers. And Massinger now, look at this. Rocket boots. Oh, now he can fly around without any problems. So, uh, I don't get it. So, he couldn't break the atmosphere with its grandeur. But with the spacers. But it, he needs the spacers to move in space. But now that it's in space, it can move without them. And I know you don't need much force to move around in space, but still, I, I just don't get it. I don't get why this couldn't have happened before. <laughs> but oh well. And the thing is, this motherfucker's fighting no problem. No problem. So, dude gets a call from Rubina, and Koji's like, yeah, go ahead. Don't worry about it. So, Koji's like, okay, yeah, I'm back on the ring. And here we go. Boom. The new saucer beast. The Hulk saucer beast. Saucer beast Hulk. That's why I call it, they're calling it. It actually looks like an Evangelion. Honestly, with the head, of course. Uh, it has that shape to it. And look at this thing. This thing is huge. It looks strong. And it actually... Brings Massinger X down. But this thing is so dumb that doesn't think about the drill missiles the Massinger X has. It <laughs> just pretty much hits it in one of the eyes. And then, of course, it gets rocket punch. Now, it doesn't take it down, it's still up. So he's still up and pretty pissed off. It looks a lot like an Evangelion, especially in there. But still, you can see that Massinger X can hold its own against this thing. Oh, and they never address if it's 
if Massinger X is a 100% now or if it's a uh, 30%. We don't know that. I'm guessing he's a hunter now, but we'll see. So, he goes, finds Serena. And honestly, when I saw this, I was like, okay, she's just there. I was like, maybe it's Tirolna again? He's getting Duke again? Uh, but no. Tirolna's actually there, and she actually does shoot at him. So, yeah. He basically tells her, you know, yeah, we got married. You know, it happened. There you go. And Tirolna's like, what the fuck? I didn't think he was gonna say that. And Luina's yeah, like, yeah, I'm aware of it. Luina's like, oh, you asshole. You can tell your difference between your girlfriend and her sister. And... <laughs> and she... <laughs> point black, she has Duke. Hey, you really couldn't tell? You know? And, and Duke is like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not even gonna answer. And Duke's like... Oh, you told me not to answer that shit. So I'm not gonna answer. This was worrying me, <laughs> you know. And he's like, I never managed to tell the difference between you two. Yeah, Duke. Duke, 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 Duke. Look, the Kabuto Koji says a lot of stuff, but a lot of stuff the Kabuto Koji says is 100% wrong a lot of the time. And you're talking about Kabuto Koji who only has one girl and he probably hasn't laid her yet. So, mm, maybe not talk too much? It, like, it, like, 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 look at Rubina's face. She's like, yeah, I don't buy that shit. And then, you know, he's like, oh, I did it because she looked very sad. Duke, buddy, this isn't gonna hang well. <laughs> but you guys can see that the chest has gotten a little bit bigger. So Tyrone's pissed off and he's like, oh, you always be my friend. I was never in fear because I, but I knew that you might turn on me. And that he's madly in love with Rubina. And, but that he can't abandon Tirona now. Because now they're married. And then we get the flashbacks. Of basically. Pretty much. You know Rubina and Duke. When they were kids. But. The big reveal is coming soon. So pretty much. You know she. She liked Duke because of how he always stood by the underdogs and the oppressed, blah, 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 blah. And Rubina's just gonna pull her eyes out. You know, and she's like, oh, I love you too, Duke. So, yeah, Duke got off pretty scot-free there. You know, he, he, he got a two-for-one special, two-for-one grandma. Really happy with that, Duke. Really happy for you, Duke. Really well done. And Tirona, as you guys can see again, boing. Yeah. And, you know, Tirona is still pissed off. And she's like, if we never met you, we wouldn't. Uh, yeah, shut up. We, 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 yeah, uh, Tirona, we know where you put that thing before Duke. We all know. I like, like, I mean, like, really. Just look at the, the symbolism here, you know. Seeing that, then you're seeing this, huh? You guys weren't expecting me to say that, but yeah. That's pretty much. <laughs> That's the toy. <laughs> so, another flashback and you're on the falls back down. You know. And yeah, pretty sad. But Duke, I'm not strong enough either. And all that stuff. And here it comes. It's Blacky. Oh yeah. It's the Blacky Black Black. 
who doesn't love Blackie? Like, come on, man, this guy, look. Blackie is a family man, okay? He's a family man. He has a family. His wife made him the cape. You know, uh, Blackie's the man. Blackie's the man here. You know, he, he's the one that has everything straight. Straight it out. And Black is like, fuck it, you all die now. Shoots. And he hits somebody, and then you're like, oh, they are gonna kill Tirona. Because that would that would be what makes sense, right? Because you have to have Rubina and Duke get together. Nope. The Rona doesn't get shot, Rubina does. And yeah. I was not expecting that. So Rona gets pissed off, shoots a couple of blackies, lackeys. That rhyme, that was actually the pun intended. And Rubina's like, Duke, run away from here. And Duke's like, fuck that, I'm gonna take you with me. And Tirona's helping him out. They're all getting shot, pretty much, and Tirona gets shot as well. So, when she got shot as well, I was like, oh, fuck, now T I'm like, okay, so they're gonna kill Tirona off. They're gonna kill her off, because that's what makes sense. You have to have Duke and Rubina stay together, right? Well... They kept getting shot at. And the base is really getting under attack. And you can see that Rubina is in really bad shape. And then this fire happens. And Duke is like, okay, Tirona, we have to use the powers here. And now Tirona has access to Duke's powers because they got married pretty much, you know. You know. You know, she got a little bit of that whipped cream, and after she got that whipped cream, she incurred the powers as well. <laughs> so, basically, the Vegas now are destroying the whole base. And you see this, and you're like, oh, fuck, they're gonna kill Tirona. Oh, don't worry. Rubina falls off on Duke's arm. Pretty far away, honestly. Because there she is, and here's Duke. That's a good hundred feet away, <laughs> honestly. And Rubina's just there. Flowers, and... Yep. As soon as I saw this, I was like, mm, Yep, and she's dead. She's dead, and Tirona goes over. Check her out, and she's like, You always protected me, and... This was my turn to protect you. She's like, Tirona, sister, are you in love with Duke? And then she says, yes. And she looks at Duke and Duke's like, oh, yeah. And then we get the flashback. The flashback that tells us why she's in love with Duke. You know, that she was checking Duke out, playing a guitar. And she blushed, slip, fell. In the water, almost drowns. Duke takes his. Duke had the time to take his shirt off and actually save her. And that's when she fell in love with Duke. And then got the big reveal that Tirona has been pretending to be Rina a lot of times, honestly. And the necklace was actually Tirona who gave him the necklace. So, pretty much, Duke was in love with both Tirona and Rubina at the same time. And he was too dumb to actually notice that. You know. And Rubina's like, oh, you finally admitted it. And... She's like, forgive me, I'm such a fool. And she basically tells Tirona that, you know, to take care of Duke, to protect him. 
And there it goes. It's pretty much done, you know. Rubina's dead. Rubina is dead now. There you go. <laughs> you gotta admit. I, w I was not expecting this. Honestly, I was just not expecting them to kill Rubina off. Because if you think about it, like it, it, it like it doesn't make sense like if you're gonna kill somebody off it, it would be tirona right that would be the one because she's the one that basically betrayed her sister but no no it's like we're gonna kill Luina off and they kill her so sadly for our boy duke he wasn't able to do the two for one grandma i, I wish he would have gotten the chance you know but uh, that's what happens when you listen to the Kabuto to Koji, you know. What happens when you listen to Koji? Don't 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 listen to Koji when it comes to stuff like that. I mean Koji a bunch of <laughs> other women he could have had also, but Kabuto to Koji doesn't learn. So yeah. That's pretty much the end of the episode. Next episode is gonna be in the name of the beautiful earth. Um, but I gotta say, this episode was actually pretty fun. I really liked it. Um, I really liked the twist that they did. I, like I said, I thought that they were gonna kill Tirona. I, I just thought they were gonna do that. I, I, to me, it's what would have made sense. Um, but nope. No, they, they didn't. They went with the whole, yeah. Um, She's just gonna die, and then Duke is gonna stay with Tirona for the rest. You know, which I, I guess you could say that he basically got an upgrade now. Pretty much, because, you know, Tirona is a lot stronger, and Tirona, you know, Tirona now has the asses and assets now to, to pull a lot of stuff off, you know. So. And plus, Tirona's a redhead. So, she's gonna be pretty spicy. So, yeah, remember what I said? Hey, look at the chest. How, how now it's a lot bigger. Yeah. They did that. So, there you go. What an episode. Um, what a ride this series has been, right? We, we got the crazy... Yander girl, then this have then Tirona tricks Duke, and then this happens. It's like crazy, crazy. I'm like, dude, what's gonna happen? Like, honestly, what's gonna happen? Like, is Hikaru gonna end up being turn evil or something, or is? Koji gonna die? I, which I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna bring this new messenger. They, they, they didn't bring this new messenger out to just to work to die. But you know, like anything can happen here. And, and the thing is, um, at least Massinger isn't one of those series to shy away. If you have seen, gosh, um, there's quite a few manga, especially. If you've never read um, Massinger, um, darn it, Massinger Zero versus um, Journal of Darkness, that manga gets really, really dark, and a lot of stuff, a bad stuff happens to a lot of characters that you love. Man, like Boss, Boss gets killed, like badly, badly, badly killed, and Mancha, you know, and his, the the other guy as well. In that manga, and it, it's like, darn, really? Yeah, it can get really dark. Um, but I don't think that's gonna happen here. I think um, what's gonna happen here is that Koji and Duke are gonna defeat these guys now. You know, Blackie and Surreal, and then they're the Vega's gonna come out, and they're gonna defeat the Vega, and then everybody's gonna be peaceful. And but at the end. I wouldn't be surprised if at the end, Dr. Hell comes out of hell, of 
course. And goes like, yeah, now I'm here, bitch. <laughs> and I brought my Mycenaean friends. So, I do hope that in the last episode, which, I don't know which is gonna be, I think there... I think there's gonna be like 15 episodes, so three more episodes, uh, maybe. I haven't checked, but... I think we're gonna see a boss cameo, and I think we might see a great Massinger cameo at some point. That would make sense. Because I wouldn't be surprised, like I said before, that this series spins off to a uh, great Massinger U. There's possibilities that it could be... It, it could go into a Getter Robo U. Honestly, because uh, Massing, you know... When it comes to the crossovers, the original ones were Grandizer, Great Massinger, and Get a Robo, those three. So I wouldn't be surprised if something like that happens. It, it, it could. I mean, and it doesn't have to be called Get a Robo U, it could just be Great Massinger U. And just have that, or Grandizer U Season 2. And uh, just incorporate those guys as well. So make it happen. So yeah guys that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.